Hello everybody! I love the power of language with ChatGPT and Swift. In this video, we will show you how you seamlessly integrate ChatGPT into your Streamlit app and create a dynamic and interactive user experience. Say goodbye to boring chatbots and hello to cutting edge AI powered language generation. Let's get started. First, let's start with the necessary Python code for using GPT-3. Second, integrate within Streamlit. We push the code to GitHub. And as a fourth step, publish everything on Streamlit Cloud. Of course, afterwards, we share and promote what we've created. All the code and steps are described in my book. Feel free to open this up and follow along for copy-pasting code. Let's go! So what are we going to do as a step one? Step one is actually connecting to OpenAI's API. So we are going to use a GPT-3 model from them to generate LinkedIn posts. So we're going to do that with some simple codes. And for that, let's try it out first in a simple Jupyter Notebook. So we're going to go here to a Jupyter Notebook. All code is going to be given right after. So here I'm first importing um, the OpenAI package, which we will give an API key because this API is not for free, of course. We're going to pay a little, it's very cheap. Um, but we're going to pay a little when using it. Of course, when you create a new account with OpenAI, you will get, uh, I believe, $18, um, a month, like $18 for trying out uh, all the APIs and everything that OpenAI uh, is giving you. Uh, but don't forget that this is um, for only three months. So maybe after you will have to add your credit card to be able to use that in your web application. So we're going to provide it a uh, API key. And of course, then we're going to call the API and ask some information, which in this case is write a catchy LinkedIn post about a certain topic. And that topic is what we are going to ask the user of our web application to fill in. So post content is a variable here. And in this case, just for trying out, we are going to say here, a post about a new blog on using a GPT-3 model in a Streamlit app. Pretty simple, simple to get a response from GPT-3 on this one. All these other parameters that we are giving to the API is kind of more advanced. It's just to tweak um, the answer that we are going to get from the, um, from the model. So, um, let's now first get our API key. So what do you do? You get to openai.com, you log in, you create an account, and then here on the right you will see view API keys. I have a couple, um, but let's create a new one for this session. So I'm going to copy here our API key, which gives us access and authenticates us as uh, me being Alexander um, to the API. So what am I doing now is I'm going to give this here as a variable to OpenAI. I'm going to connect. OK, we authenticate. And then I'm going to um, give our prompt uh, to GPT-3. And here we get a kind of catchy um, LinkedIn post, which is, are you ready to take your Streamlit apps to the next level? Check out our new blog on using a GPT-3 model to build powerful AI-powered apps. Learn how to use the latest cutting-edge technology to create amazing experiences for your users. Hashtag GPT-3, Streamlit, AI, ML, app development. So that's pretty catchy to use in a LinkedIn post, all right? So this is something which can be used right now. So we have our first step done right now. Uh, we have some code that we are now going to embed in a Streamlit application to make it available to the public. Now we can start with step two. And step two is actually connecting what we just created in step one, which is our simple code that calls the OpenAI API and have that into our Streamlit application. So choose your favorite editor. For me, that's going to be PyCharm right now, uh, but can be virtually anything. Um, and here I'm going to do a new project. I'm going to call it LinkedIn Post Generator. It's going to spin up a virtual environment and I'm going to click on Create. All right. 
So it's creating a bunch of things directly for us. Um, gonna skip the instructions, of course. Then, what do we need there? Um, let's first try start with a couple of simple things. We're gonna open the terminal and say here pip install streamlet. It's gonna do this. In main, I'm gonna refactor that and call that app.py. Once we have done all the installing of Streamlit in our terminal, so in our virtual environment, we're gonna say, okay, import Streamlit um, SST. I'm gonna write something simple. So ST write, this is my first application. Right? So that's pretty simple. So what I'm gonna do here is stream it, uh, run app.py. And let's have a look how that looks like. I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna open the local host. This is gonna open our editor with this is my first application. That's perfect. There's a couple of things and I'm gonna do that again. So, and here I can click on the local host that is being created and we see this is my first application. So here is, that's, it's that simple to try out our codes live from what we write here and have it directly uh, try out. Anyway. So in summary, it's very simple to try this out here um, and we see directly our result. Okay, so that's one of the things. So we are going to add code in here. Um, that's one thing. But we also will be using our passwords, of course. Um, so I'm going to fix that first. So I'm going to create a new uh, directory file and call it .streamlit. Okay, and in there I'm going to create a toml file. Uh, Secrets.toml. In the toml file, so just a couple of minutes ago, we added our password within the code and that's totally not safe to do so, especially in a web application that is available to many of us. Um, we're going to give the variables, so the secrets for the API in the environment of, stream, of Streamlit when we push it uh, to the net, but for trying it out in our um, main environment here, we're going to add a toml file with the secrets, which we are not going to push in our GitHub repository, because we first have to push our code to a repository on GitHub, and then Streamlit is going to uh, take everything from that repository and add it on the website that is being created. So I'm going to add a couple of passwords here. So here I'm going to add here the API key, uh, which is given here as a parameter, um, and this is the password, of course. Okay, so, all right, we can go back to our app, um, and here we are going to add some other codes. Which is going to explain everything, of course. Um, so, very similar. Here, I'm going to use this code here, um, the import.streamlet.sst was already done. I'm going to import OpenAI as well here, um, because that's the main package that we use in our Jupyter file. And then here we have a function, which is called getOpenAIAnswer, with the post content, as you remember that we post in here in our prompt that we're going to send. And something special here is that, of course, that uh, API key that we just added to our toml file is, is going to be uh, gone via this secrets, API keys, and then the open AI um, variable is going to be taken, which is uh, given to the package. This is nothing new. We return the answer. Then I've written here um, write so to our um, application welcome to the LinkedIn post generator we can make this more beautiful but here is just to 
um, just as a matter of explaining the how afterwards we can make it more beautiful. Um, I'm gonna get user input, so that means there is gonna be a little text box uh, for our users to describe, okay, what do they want uh, written in that LinkedIn post. So describe what you would like to have a LinkedIn post about, okay? So we are gonna ask that. And then until somebody clicks on the button, generate LinkedIn post, um, we're gonna wait. Somebody clicks on that, we're gonna take the user input, which is taken above. We add that to our function above as well, which takes already the API keys, and we are gonna write down uh, the answer. That's a basic code that we are gonna be using. A couple of things that we have to add here before we can get through is, of course, we are using a couple of packages here. Uh, what we are gonna do is add a requirements.txt file, so that looks like this, requirements.txt. And here we are gonna fix a couple of packages to their version and on which this works. Because otherwise, if you don't have a requirements file, could be that there are dependency issues. Uh, there might be some packages which are not compatible with another version of a package. So that's why we are gonna add a requirements.txt file. So in order to do that, to that, to do that I'm gonna add this code in here. So Streamlit, I'm gonna fix it to 1.17 as version. Gonna add the char set normalizer that just making sure that there are no dependency issues and open AI. I didn't fix the version, but we could fix it to the latest here. I've added this in the comment section. Um, if we stop our um, terminal here and install this, it's going to install everything which is in our requirements.txt file. So that's pretty um, easy, but it's also making sure that our virtual environment, which is on our computer right now, knows what versions they have that have to be fixed. Um, so that's good. So now let's have a look if this works. So again, let's do streamlet uh, run dot at app dot pi. Okay, it's gonna open. Welcome to the LinkedIn post generator. Describe what you would like to have a LinkedIn post about. So let's try it out. Um, a new blog about GPT three and uh, Streamlit, for example. Okay, enter. It's running. And then we get a fairly good post. Check out our new blog about GPT-3 and Streamlit. Learn how to use these cutting edge technologies to create powerful AI applications and take your data science to the next level. Hashtags GPT-3, Streamlit, data science, AI, and machine learning. So that's our LinkedIn post generator. It works, works very well offline. So offline, I mean, okay, this is still locally. So what are we gonna do now is go to the next step. Now that everything runs locally, we know, okay, that works perfectly. Let's now push this to the cloud. So let's push this to GitHub. We are gonna share this project. LinkedIn post generator, I'm gonna make it private for now. Um, and I'm gonna say here, web app that generates LinkedIn posts. All right, share. So now this is gonna be created. It's adding also get in your um, advice to initial commits. Um, I'm gonna remove the TOML file which is gonna be added to the git in your. So the git in your is where we in your certain files in the project to make sure that passwords are not on the internet, of course. So I'm gonna um, remove streamlet um, and our secrets.toml file in our streamlet uh, repository or, or folder. Um, and we will be adding that to the git in your. So I'm gonna add this here, all right. So, okay. Our TOML file is in the um, files that we are not pushing in our initial commit, which is good. So I'm gonna now add a relative path to the secrets of TOML in our get in your 
Um, so file dot git in your gonna add that gonna take the relative path here so copy path and reference gonna add this here gonna say uh, commit gonna say okay the git in your can be added add the git in your right commit and push push all right so let's double check this uh, commit get in your okay gonna double check this on github gonna take the LinkedIn post generator get in your and that's saying submit secret stone okay so that's perfect so so we have added our get in your our code is now running uh, perfectly fine it's linked up on github so what have we done now so as a step two we created our simple code that runs locally which easily uses the code from step one it creates a streamlit kind of framework which makes sure that it can be used into a rep application we added the git in your our toml file our requirements file um, to our repository we push that to github as a step three and now step four is really using all of that information in github and have it on streamlit so that we can share our creation our web application with others so let me go to streamlit.io gonna sign in okay so i'm gonna create a new app new app uh, and that's going to be the LinkedIn post generator branch master what is the file name this app.py that we used so I'm going to click on deploy let's try this out so now it's going to be cooked as they say here in the cooking machine it's in the oven uh, so now Swimnet is creating based on everything that is in GitHub uh, our web application and that shouldn't take too much time of course all right our app is just out of the oven it's cooked let's have a look it's pretty simple welcome to the linkedin post generator describe what you would like to have a linkedin post about of course we want to talk about the new youtube tutorial on how to create a linkedin post generator with ChatGPT and swimnet which we are creating here right now Let's have a look. We cl click on the generate LinkedIn posts and we have our response directly. I just released a new YouTube tutorial how to create a LinkedIn post generator with ChatGPT and Swimnet. Check out the video to learn how to quickly and easily create amazing posts that will help you stand out on LinkedIn. All right, we have something which is usable right off the bat, very easy. We can make this a bit more beautiful by adding a title, maybe some pictures to give the user some context, but this is the basics. The basics are now in your hands. Thanks for watching.